so guys you are welcome back once again these are basically the materials i will be using for this style the style is on your screen that's the inspiration though it's on the request so we're going to be using net material for the sleeve this is a net material it's one yard this is paper gum you can use sa if you want it's my zip then this is the lace material i'm going to be using it's two yards of material that's why i have the one yard net to be used for the sleeve then this is the underlining this is satin material it's two yards then this is my lining so i'm going to, to use uh, the paper gum on the lining and the underlining so the next thing we're going to do now is to cut out from the bulk of the fabric the exact measurement i'll be using so guys i've cut my pattern out as usual i cut out uh, my hip divide by four plus three inches allowance one and a half for the zip and one and a half for sewing allowance the length of the skirt side i subtracted my back length which is 16. the total length is 59 then for the lace it's going to take 59 while the underline is going to be 58 then the lining is 57. so i normally use lining to cut so that i can maximize my material so i've measured out my hip level tie level and the breaking points then the length of my lining for the skirt so what we are going to do now is to apply our hip measurements with our waist that and cut out my waist is 32 divided by 4 the measurement is on your screen so that is 8 I measure up 8 inches a mark plus 1 inch that for the back normally don't use that for front i'm going to remove it by the time i finish then one and a half inches sewing allowance then from my dart i raise it up, up by half an inch i'm going to connect to the center front and center back then for my hip is 42 divided by four which is ten and a half and mark plus one and a half inches sewing allowance so i transfer this measurement to my tie line if you have been watching my video you will know the procedure so normally apply tie line to avoid breaking between the breaking point and the hip line for those that have curvy shape and most of our ladies diseases have a very curvy shape so the next thing is I'm at the breaking points the breaking point I use uh, between 17 to 20 depending on the height of the client that I'm working for so at the breaking point now i'm going to reduce it by two inches so which is 12 here now i'm going to reduce it by 10 inches, which is 10 inches so i'm going to mark my 10 inches then the same thing to the length of the skirt i'm going to mark 10 inches then i'll connect with my ruler okay Then for the center front, I'm going to bring it down by half an inch, then connect it to this point. The same thing applies for the center back, but I won't bring the center back down. I will just connect to the one inch guideline that I provided. So now, we finish connecting the front the next thing i'm going to take care of is what i call both illusion so at the breaking point this one and a half inches i'm going to eliminate it to the down of the skirt length so what i will now do now is i'm going to connect it to the hip line from here i connect to the hip line okay at the center back I'm going to reduce it by half an inch half an inch to create that curvy shape to remove excess from the hollow of the back but it's just it's not going to get to the hip so it's just by five five inches down just like the point of our dad then i will connect 
So now this one and a half inches that we're removing, I'm going to connect it back to the side so that by the time we saw the center front and the center back, they will be equal. So I'm going to mark the one and a half here and connect back. So I'm going to connect it back towards the hip line. towards it and now connect back okay so what we removed here we have replaced it here so I finished drafting our skirts So guys, I've finished uh, cutting the whole fabric with the lace, with the underlining and I've pinned them together, pinned the lace and the underlining together. So the next thing to do now is to sew. So guys, we are through with the skirt, as you can see. I've finished sewing it, the front and the back with the lining. So the next thing now is for us to cut the upper side of the dress. And the upper side is the shoulder princess that. So that's what we're going to cut now. Guys, I just uploaded a video on how to cut a shoulder princess cut. So I'm not going to demonstrate it in on this tutorial because the video was getting too long. So I needed to cut it into two. So if you have not watched that tutorial, you need to watch it so that you can flow. Now I'm going to use the lining to cut the lace and the underlining. So guys, I've finished with the underlining. I placed the lace on top of it. Then I treated it as one. You can always treat as one with uh, the sewing machine or your needle and thread. Or you can even use hemming gum to treat as one. So the next thing for us to do now, I'm going to cut the edges. I'm going to cut it out now. I'm going to cut it. Then after cutting, I'm going to place i'll place it the lining on it i'll place the lining then i will notch so guys our shoulder princess that is ready so at this junction, we're going to create our asymmetric neckline. But I'm not going to use the lace to create it. I'm going to use lining to create the asymmetric neckline. So what I normally do is to place on my mannequin. I place it on my mannequin to create the shape of the neckline. But for the sake of those that don't have mannequin, I'm still going to create it without it. So you will see. What I will do is to place on the table up from the center of the neckline to give my cleavage the way to measure your cleavage is showing on your screen so you measure it from the center and bring it down for my sake i'm going to use five inches you can use seven six thereabouts depends on how much cleavage you are ready to show out so what i'll do is mark my cleavage first which is five inches at the center i've already ironed the center so that I can know the uh, center point. So I mark the center point. Then from the shoulder line, I mark six inches down. 
from the center of the shoulder to create a sweetheart shape for the, for the asymmetric neckline. Then the next thing I will do is to create my shape. So I'm going to create it like a sweetheart, taking it from this point. Then I take it to the armhole using my free hand cutting method. So I take it to the center from the other side. Then from the neck point, I measure to two inches round towards the shoulder. Raising, I'm going to use a half inch for the sewing allowance. So you measure the two, two inches and you curl. Just connect. You can always create the shape you want. Any shape you desire, you create it. Then I'm going to curve this way. Okay. So I'm going to cut out now. Then after cutting, I'm going to place it on the lace to sew. So this is whatever you desire to create, you create it. If you are ready to show more cleavage, you dip it down, then you bring it down more. But as for me, this is okay. So I'm going to cut it out now and cut for the back. Okay, so has been cut out. So all you need to do for the back is do the same thing. Measure from the shoulder. Make sure that you place it this way to be able to identify that to front are opposite each other, so that you don't make that mistake. So you now mark the two inches. Now for the back, it depends on how you want it. Just the pen. You can shape it and go in deep but in my case i'm just going to take it a little bit because i don't want too much exposure so i'll just mark the two inches and i will shape as i desire so i can take it this way just as you are seeing and i take it to the ample to create a shape i desire so i'm going to cut it out now So guys, I've cut out our shape. Guys, before you finish sewing, make sure you re-hold the bustier points, half an inch for the lace and half an inch for the lining, so that it will be firm on your chest. So I've done that. That's why I had to show you guys. So you hold half an inch, half an inch before you finish sewing that neck, uh, asymmetric neckline. So guys, this point, you can see, it has been sewn and I've top stitched the lining. So I'm going to give it a good press now then I'll take care of the back, then we'll take care of the neckline at this junction. At this so guys, I'm through with the front. So guys, I'm going to take care of the back now. So guys, the next thing to do now is to turn the neckline of the front and the back separately. They will turn this two separately. Pick it up. Turn it this way. Then we'll sew the same thing. We turn this way. Then you sew, then you pull it out. Then this one, also the neckline. 
so guys i've been able to sew it so the next thing is to pull it out be careful when you are pushing so that you don't create a hole just gradually and gently push it out done that is to give it a good so guys after a good press the next thing is for us to sew the shoulder to shoulder so i'm going to use this smaller back side to turn this because this is longer has a longer neckline so for us to be able to pull it out again will be a little bit difficult so i'm going to place it on this now then i'm going to Put my hand inside. And I'm going to bring this in. That's what I want. So I'm just going to sew it up an inch. So the smaller side is true. I've finished joining it. The next thing now is to take the bigger side. Then Pick it lace to lace, then line it to line it. Then I'm going to join. So guys, we finished sewing the shoulders. So the next thing to do now is to pick the back and the front there. We we'll sew the sides. So the side has been sewn, as you can see, for the bodies. So now I'm going to connect it to the skirt. So now it's to join the waistline all through. So guys, I've finished with the waistline, as you can see. Then the next thing to do is for us to fix our zip. Is to place our zip and sew using the one and a half inches zip allowance. So guys, the zip has been fixed. At this point now, what we need to do is to use the lining to turn the zip side. As you can see, I've sewn the bodies of the lining and the skirts together. So I'm gonna use it now, the lining, to turn the zip side. I'm going to turn it up to the slit side. So guys, we'll be able to use the lining to turn it in out towards the slit end as you can see it that it has been torn in so we are through with the zip side but there's something i need to tell you guys there was a tutorial i made on how to eliminate gaping in a basic bodies if you are making a cute dress or you are making any dress that fits perfectly firmly to the body you need to remove gaping if you are using a draping method or you are using a pattern drafting method you would have removed it but in a free hand cutting method it is very difficult to remove so what do you we normally do or what you need to do is to dart it in your free hand uh, cutting method so what i have done now is i had to dart the back of the neckline because it's going to create a gaping at that point so you dart it out and it will be smooth after sewing you will not even notice it and you can even place a lace trimming on top of it to make it very beautiful that nobody will actually notice it so that's how to remove gaping if you have not watched that tutorial you need to watch it so guys the next thing we need to do now is to fix our sleeve guys i have a, a tutorial on how to cut a fitted sleeve with an elbow dart so that's what we're going to use for our sleeve that's what i'm going to use to cut the sleeve then for the off shoulder sleeve what i did was to reduce from the full shoulder three inches then i cut it off and i added some paper to make it equal so that it will fit well so i'm going to cut it now to fit it on our dress so that's how 
you are going to do it so i'm going to place it on the description below So guys, for the sleeve, we are going to sew the darts. We are going to sew the darts out of the sleeve before we now sew the sleeve then join it to the dress. I'm going to use French seam for my sleeve. That is the double stitches. Sew it for the front first, then turn it and sew it inside. So guys, basically our sleeve is ready. I fixed it to the dress, as you can see. I use the lace, the leftover lace to finish the wrist side. So I finish with the dress. The two sleeve has been fixed for the full sleeve and the off shoulder side. So guys, thank you for sticking to the end of the video. If you have not subscribed up to now, please do subscribe to my channel, share with likeable minds, and give me a big thumbs up if you have not done so so far. So I will see you in my next project. Bye for now.